Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another 31 Days of Storytelling. I am your host, Deadhead Panda, and you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so that you can be notified of when I drop new stories. For the month of October, I am doing a story every day for 31 days, or at least I'm going to try. This is a mission that I'm giving myself. So without further ado, we get into our story. Don't eat the beans. Hello, my name is Trent and I'm coming to you today to bring you this warning about not eating the beans. I'm sitting here in my room, scared. I don't know how long I will be able to hold out in here. But last week is when everything started to go wrong. I live in a little farm town in Nebraska. And my family moved here just a little over a year ago. We don't do much farming and we don't know anything about that. But everything kind of got weird. So sometime last week, this big farm and agricultural fair happened. And they started to hand out these free seeds to all of the farmers, telling them these are miracle seeds, they'll grow really quickly. All you're going to need is to add water. You can boost your crop's yield by 50%. And in two years, it'll be boosted by 200%. I know it seemed really weird to me that beans were able to grow that fast. And, you know, since we're not really farmers, we really didn't think anything of it. So we noticed a few of our neighbors starting to, you know, plow their fields and put these miracle seeds down. And... I'm a firm believer that not everything free is good for you. So within a week, really within three days, these beans had sprouted up like they had been a full grown crop for at least three months already. Everybody was ooing and eyeing and, you know, ready to make money off of these beans. Some of the farmers decided to have a harvest festival and they harvested the beans. At first, I noticed some of the parents started becoming a little weird. Now, mind you, we've been here a year and we don't really know everyone, but we know mannerisms of people in this little farm backwater town so they started to be really odd and synchronized which was weird because nobody in this town was ever synchronized barely ever on time and no one you could really say was to stick to it stand up kind of citizens After they started to eat these beans, everyone started to be able to pick out each other in regards to who was and wasn't eating the beans. While I was in school, it started to become those who ate the beans set in one area and those who didn't set in the other. How would you know if a person ate the beans? I have no idea. But one thing I can tell you is on more than one occasion, girls would look at me and say, (laughs) you should really eat the beans. And it creeped me out. So again, it was weird. I really didn't think anything of it until everybody on my block started acting weird. So weird to the fact that even my parents who are normally face first in a book 
ejected from life noticed that their neighbors were starting to be really creepy and weird. And I mean creepy and weird to the point to where they would walk past our house and then just stop and stare. I was standing upstairs in my room window when like every time a neighbor would walk by our front porch in our front yard, they would just stop, stare at our door for like five minutes and then start walking again. So last night they decided they were going to throw a party and my mom and dad were invited. Which was weird because most people know my mom and dad don't go to parties. But these people literally came to our house and was like, you guys are coming to the party and dragged mom and dad out. When mom and dad came home, which wasn't even a long party, it was like an hour and 30 minutes. They were weird. They were acting weird and looking strangely at me. Then my mom held up a grocery bag with these miraculous beans in them. And she was like, I think I'm going to make dinner tonight. I think we should have beans. And my dad said, yes, I think that's a great idea. Which freaked me out because they never talk like that. First off, my dad was from New York. So he didn't have a yokel accent And he was more of a hustle bustle type of guy. My mom was from California. On two different coasts, these two met. They were always very disconnected from life. They were always happy-go-lucky, but more into books and all the hoity-toity things of life. So when my dad came home and started to want beans... And my mom only wanted to cook beans. It kind of shook me up. Because I personally don't like beans. I don't like any type of beans. Not no kidney beans. Not no lentils. Not anything that looked like a bean. I didn't like it. To me, they've always looked at like little miniature pod people type of situation. And I just don't like them. So when our meals became breakfast, lunch, and dinner, beans, 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 these miracle beans, I started to kind of think that my parents' brains have been taken over. So I decided to go out to get something to eat. I go to the diner, and of course, their whole menu has changed to nothing but miracle beans. Miracle bean salad, miracle bean burgers, miracle bean milkshakes. And at that point, I knew everybody had lost their mind. But it was also at that point I realized everyone was staring at me. Like boring a hole through me. So I turned to leave. And as I'm walking down the street, everyone on the street stopped. And they all started to stare at me and stare and stare. They literally started to walk behind me all the way until I scurried myself in the house. My parents were waiting for me on the porch. And all I could say is, how about having some beans, dear? Yeah, it'll be good for you, sport. Which, again, freaked me out. I ran past them, slammed the door, locked it, locked them outside, and scurried my way upstairs to my room. I look out the window, and everyone in town is staring at me. Directly up at my window. And all synchronized, they said... Why don't you have some beans? Yeah, sport, they'll be good for you. And I don't remember anything after that because I fainted. And now that I've woken up, 
I'm looking out the window and they're still there in the same spaces with blank eyes staring up at my window. I don't know how long I can survive without losing my mind. But if somebody finds this, don't eat the beans. Don't go to the farmer's market. Don't buy the miracle beans. Don't feed them to you, your pets, your dog, your mother, your brother. Don't feed them. Don't eat them. Don't look at them. Because at this point, I'm pretty sure these beans are alive. Because I can see them crawling under my door. And I know any minute now, I'm going to be like everyone else. So this is your warning. Don't eat the beans. Or do eat the beans. They are good for you. They are yummy. Eat the beans. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was our story, Don't Eat the Beans. So whether or not you got the notice, do not eat those special miracle beans. And I would like to give a thanks to everyone for listening to this story today. You guys are amazing, and I believe 100% that we are getting better with our storytelling. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments. You guys are awesome, and as always, this is Deadhead Panda, out.